Welcome back to another brand new video here on GoBox. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up new profiles in your Stream Deck on your GoBox. Now, Stream Deck is one of the most powerful switchers that is set up on your GoBox. It enables you to switch from scene to scene to scene and makes your life a lot easier. So you can focus on your content delivery, your messaging, and not worry about all the technical stuff. So to handle the technical stuff, let's set up some profiles on Stream Deck. As you can see here, I've got a folder with Stream Deck profiles here, and I've got the Stream Deck window open over here. In this Stream Deck window, you can see that I have five icons set up on the first row. The first icon launches Ecamm Live. The second, third, fourth, and fifth icon actually takes you to different profiles. I'll demonstrate that by pressing the button on the Stream Deck myself. So here we go. Here's the podcast profile. So I simply click on the podcast button here to go to the podcast profile. Then I can click on this button down here to get back to uh, the master control. I can then press the GoBox Studio to go to the GoBox Studio profile. And then I've got the master control button right here on this corner to take you back to the main master control. Then I can press on reactions to get to reactions. And what I've noticed is that these are linked to the wrong one. So let's go ahead and fix that. This one will like to go to BM reactions, MB reactions, and these will go to MB, yeah, what is this? Call to actions, All right? Simply clicking on this one will take us to the call to actions. Again, pressing on this window will take me back to the previous controls. All right, now that we've seen how these profiles switch from one profile to another one, let's go ahead and see how to install this profile. Now you'll see this folder sitting here. We have four profiles listed here. Clicking on each one of them will load it up in here. So as I double click on the BM master profile, double click on it and it'll load up here. You can see the, num the name change here to copy one. And the other way to install profiles would be to go into here, click on edit profiles, where we'll see this preferences window load up. And then you can say, hey, I would like to add a profile. So this would add a blank new profile. Or you can say, let's go ahead and import a new profile. Choosing that import will then let us browse to the folder that we want to go to. I'm simply going to drag this file into this folder. So it switches over to that folder and I can click on open. And this will create yet another copy. So we have multiple copies for the same one. So that is how simple it is to load up the profiles on Stream Deck.